In this lesson we will show you how to hatch the Mr Oliver's house, uh, create the roof tiles and to make a representation of the brickwork. We'll also show you how to deal with the problem of an ambiguous boundary which is causing the bricks to leak through and uh, sometimes you get a message appears that says it cannot draw the, the bricks because of an ambiguous boundary. Right, so let's show you how to do the roof tiles first. So from the hatching menu I'm going to select the elevational hatch tool. It's asking me to give a hatch point inside the boundary and then it's asking me to give one at the edge or the origin point. So I go usually go to one of the corners. Under the page 2 tab you will find there's a representation of roof tiles and I'm going to change that to a 200 millimeter size roof tile. You have to wait patiently and then that fills in the tiles with a representation of the roof tiles. And then to do the brickwork, first of all, I need to highlight each of those lines. I have to do it twice because it's been created by the first and the ground floors. So I will do that twice on each of those lines. Then to do the brickwork inside this area here, I'm going to press the elevational hatch tool. I'm going to click inside the boundary and then I'm going to select a, a line on the edge of the boundary. Again, wait patiently. Choose the brick that you want to use, which I'm going to be brick 1, and then I'm going to click OK. But before I click OK, I'm going to make the brick size 215 millimeters. And then we're going to move on to the projections. Wait patiently. Choose my uh, brick type. Wait patiently. And then it fills it in. Right click again. Click inside the boundary. And then click on one of the outside corners somewhere on the line. Choose, OK. Sometimes you may get this message appears that talks about an ambiguous boundary. And now it didn't happen on that occasion, but uh, Sod's Law says that if it'll happen, sometimes it does. But let's just pre pretend that a box has appeared that says ambiguous boundary. So I'll show you how to solve that problem if it occurs. So I'm going to delete those lines first. I'm going to go into the Views and 3Ds menu and click on the Layers button. And I'm going to add and create my own new layer and I'm going to call it Hatching. Okay, now having done that, I'm going to change the layer that we're drawing in to the new Hatching layer. I've got to find it first. Where are you? Hatching. There we go. So uh, anything I draw now will be in this new layer called Hatching. So under the Drawing and Annotation menu, I'm going to select a polyline. Polylines are closed lines so that if you have this problem with the brickwork leaking through the boundary, a polyline will be a closed object. So I'm going to first of all map out the external corners of the gable and all around this brickwork here look and then press oops not quite there and I'm going to press C to close that up that line there needs to be just dragged down and joined up with that one now we also need to seal off the boundaries around these windows because if you don't you'll find that they get filled in with brickwork so you'll notice that I've also need to highlight these objects and put polylines around them so if you put soldier if you want to put soldier courses over the top of the windows 
and you get this ambiguous boundary thing then that's how you do it you have to seal them off from the rest of the brickwork okay so that's created the the, uh, the sort of environment into which our hatching can be placed so I'm going back to the views and 3D's menu select the layers select all untick light bulb and then we need to go down to the hatching layer and just show that and then can you see that that has separated it off from the rest of the uh, drawing so now we can go to the hatch hatch patterning this time forgot to do me bound first of all I need to select the boundaries forgot to do that as usual press the hatch button select hatch patterning then that will allow you to choose your brick or whatever it is you want to do it in and then it says give hatch origin point and that will then fill in the brickwork thus I can then click on views layers select all retick that click on the light bulb obviously by doing that you've then got to nip back through and hide the objects that you don't want to see at the moment and you're now in the situation where you've got your brickwork back and then obviously we can finish off our masterpiece in 2D by clicking there, clicking inside the roof space clicking on the corner select page 2, roof tiles change the size to 200, OK and that does that like so. So that's how you can there. Uh, now uh, one final thing is if you don't like the colour you can select it and then change the colour down here to black or whatever it is that you prefer it to be in. So that's how you change the colour of your bricks or tiles in 2D if you need to. So that concludes how to do your 2D hatching.